As you know, every three years, CompTIA drops a major refresh on its exams. And up next is Security Plus. Now we're currently at the 501 and we're headed into the 601 later this year. What should you expect to see? What's gonna be the same? What's going to change? And what is going to be brand new? So what are we already familiar with on the 501? Well, the objectives are clean cut and they've been out there for years. It covers threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities, tools and technologies, architecture and design, identity and access management, risk management, and cryptography. So we are still going to see those same areas on the 601, but we are definitely going to see uh, more in-depth questions and updates in some specific areas. And where we are expecting to see those increases of info or changes and updates are really in three key areas. And that's the threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities section, the tech and tools section, and the risk management. A lot has happened and been updated in the last three years as far as cybersecurity and the whole game plan of how an enterprise should prepare for attacks uh, on getting their system safe and keeping their data safe. So you're going to see more updated verbiage and tools and technologies uh, that are available in the real world, real world uh, incorporated into the exam. So let's take a look at what will be brand new on the 601 that was not really touched on in the 501 exam environment. We're definitely looking at an increase in cloud and virtual desktop infrastructure or VDI. We have seen a major boom, especially in the year of 2020, for these tools being incorporated at home, at work, those things are now kind of meshed. So you're going to see that being reflected in the exam room because we need to know how to keep our session safe when we're recording, when we have VTC meetings, when we are remoting in using VPNs. So you're gonna see a big increase in that on the exam because we've had an increase in real life. Also looking at mobile devices and security issues surrounding laptops, cell phones, phablets, all of the things that are in our pockets, in our purse, in our bags, and we're out in the world using to be able to interact with our data 24 seven. Now, the one thing I see increasing across the board, this is not specific to Security Plus, but on every exam from A plus through CASP is looking at the analysis and monitoring and diagnostic tools. So these are logs, you might see these in multiple choice or SIM type questions where they want you to go through a log and identify what the heck is going on. What's the issue? Is there an issue at all? Uh, so definitely expect to see more of that, not only on the Security Plus, but really any CompTIA test that you take going forward. A couple other areas that we're expecting increases as far as the expectation for knowledge and familiarity are network access control. That has definitely become a broader area as BYOD is getting more common and everybody's now working from home, co-op situations, work from home, work from anywhere, which I love. And we wanna make sure that people are familiar and comfortable with the fact that not everything is going to be standardized anymore. It's not common to necessarily see enterprise environments ordering a thousand of the same system, imaging in them all, and those are the only devices that have access to their network or their data. We're talking about who knows how many different cell phone models, manufacturers, different types of laptops and tablets, operating systems, different browsers gaining access. Uh, so a lot more information a lot more data, a lot more knowledge going to be applied in those areas. All right, so what you can definitely expect is the same best practice, common practice, which one is first, which one is last, which one is most, which one is least in the testing environment, but really make sure you understand that as we move forward in our certification journey, you're going to see an overlap of topics where before I think Network Plus was really based on just networking things at the core, the physical network items, the troubleshooting tools, security was all about the depth and different layers of security, but now it's not just securing the network, it's securing different devices, it's securing data in transit, it's who has access to the data. The CIA triad is still at its foundation, the exact same, but there's so much more in depth knowledge that we need. So 
the test is getting a little bit harder, but that's because real life is getting harder. And technology itself is expanding as are its capabilities. Um, we shouldn't be surprised knowing that the test is going to expand in the focus areas and objectives. And I would say cloud VDI or virtual desktops and remoting in VPN um, and a couple other things to be aware of SSO or single sign-ons and MFA multi-factor authentication are definitely going to be uh, spotlighted in the upcoming exams because again we're seeing a huge increase in real life on where those technologies are being implemented and therefore as a upcoming security professional you have to know about those things. All right, so which test are you gonna be taking? Is it gonna be the 501 or the 601? Now, if you are somebody who has been studying for the 501 and you're not sure if you should take the 501 or the 601, take the 501, you've been studying for this thing. But if the 601 is already out when you're watching this and it's been released and you have content to study, or if you've been in the game for a while, meaning that you're an experienced security professional, you're knocking out this cert more for a requirement or recommendation to keep your job or go to the next step, then knock out the 601. It's not gonna hurt to have the most up-to-date certification. But at the end of the day, if you take the 501 and you apply for a job, you are still security plus certified.